After exploring the Alhambra during our last voyage, it's now time to virtually discover the Cave of La Garma in Cantabria. No one remembers our story anymore. For over 16,000 years, our memories have been preserved intact. Up there on the hill, in the cave you now call La Garma. Everything we once were has been there for centuries. Here is where we exchange objects, ideas, and stories too. And the most incredible things began to happen. For thousands of years, La Garma was much more than home. Then, something happened. We are inside of the cave of La Garma with Roberto Antañón, the director of the caves of Cantabria, Stuart Weitzman and Barbara Creek, the founders of this initiative to recreate the cave virtually so people will be able to visit it. This cave is close to the public and will never be opened. Hi, Stuart. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Stuart, tell us how, how did everything happened and, and how you had this idea? Well, for um, almost half a century, I've spent my life in Spain making footwear uh, together with Barbara Krieger. And I, I don't know about uh, her, her ambitions, but I always wanted to give something back to Spain. And I thought that uh, if it were to happen in the little village I was in, very few people would get to see it. And by chance, I ran into uh, you and Roberto Otonion and was invited to visit this recently opened cave. After one trip through it, I realized that no one is ever going to see these treasures that are inside. Our history is all over the floor, not just on the walls. And to allow the public in would be to destroy thousands of years of that history. The only solution, thanks to the technology of today, was to make this virtual video. What are we seeing? Well, now we, uh, we, we are in the in the first uh, space of the cave. We have entered uh, following the easy way, the original entrance, which was blocked. Uh, 15,000 years ago, and now we are in a in a place that was the that was the the habitat, the place where the people, the, the men and women who lived here uh, 15,000 years ago lived and uh, eat and prepare their food, but also decorate the walls. Eh? As you as you can see, uh, all the floor is is full of of things, is full of of rests of uh, carcasses, of, of bones, uh, of flint implements, and bone implements, also some some uh, decorated uh, objects. And we, we, we are here in, an, in another spectacular uh, place in the cave. We are still in the, in the place of, of the habitat of the Magdalenian people. And there's a reconstruction of a hut. Uh, they they made uh, fireplaces like these two that we uh, we are we that they are in, in display now, and a structure made of of um, of uh, wood and and uh, skins or furs of of animals, and this the floor is full of rest as, as I've told you. For example, this uh, phalanx of an auroch, which is which has been decorated with the with the figure engraved of a. Uh, of an animal of the same, the same species, uh, the, an auroch, in a very, very realistic style. Why is it important to preserve these sites for, for, for community with capital letters, for world heritage, as a world heritage site? Well, there aren't too many of these around the planet, and, uh, and people just, um, we're all fascinated with where we came from. 
we, we really don't know how it evolved. I believe when I was visiting this cave, we were told that there was a, um, uh, a whole area of burial for Neanderthals at the entrance of the cave. So this, the history of this cave goes back way past 15 and 30,000 years. Mm -hmm. And well, so we're going to know about it. We can, we can watch these fabulous movies that Hollywood creates and they're our imagination, uh, but here is reality. And in this part of Spain, you have a dozen or more of these caves. I've visited a few um, and they're just spectacular. In particular, this one, because having been sealed for so many thousands of years with a landslide or an earthquake, or whatever closed the entrance, it preserved history. And of course, all the other caves remained open. So as, as people found them a thousand, two thousand, three thousand years ago, they destroyed a lot of the history. This cave preserved it. And I think uh, it's, uh, it's our spirit that we want to know as much as we can about how we evolved to who we are today. This is a little bit of help in that regard. Hi, Barbara. Yeah. Hello. Hola. Isn't it much easier to go into the cave this way? Oh, my golly. Rather than going, taking a step that you're afraid you're going to crush history every step you take. <laughs> yes, this is much safer, faster, easier, cleaner, clearer. It's exciting, too. I love looking at it. <laughs> wasn't it the seven hours spent in a cave that passed as, as if nothing? <laughs> seven hours? Wasn't it 27 hours? <laughs> Every second was thrilling. We come down to another space, which is really special. With these three paintings that we were amazed, no, Stuart and Barbara, when, when I mean, with, with this story. Roberto, tell us about it. Well, this is the first paintings that we discovered when when we came here for the first time in, in 1995. It was the, the 2 of, uh, of November uh, in the afternoon. Uh, it was the first the first time that we descend by this uh, enormous uh, uh, hole. And we descend from the intermediate gallery uh, to discover this gallery, which is called the the lower gallery. And that that was the 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 the, the, the first painting that we saw, and we were amazed by by this this discovery, which is wonderful. And at the first time we see, as you you can see, the paintings that uh, are more easy to 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 see that they are three uh, figures of animals of ungulates uh, on the left there's a norok it's a, a prehistoric bull it's just the head and the neck and the chest is looking uh, right and this figure is uh, constructed around a hole in the in the wall which is the eye of the animal and around the this 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 small cr uh, crack they construct the figure Roberto. Oh, there's my lion. <laughs> Tell us about the lion, Roberto. Oh, this is one of the of the latest. It is one of the latest discovery in in La Garma, and it is is as impressive as, as you can see now in in motion. No, and there's a, this this the rest of a, a skeleton of this animal, which is a cave lion, which is a special a, a special species, uh, with, which uh, lived in in caves. We have found this animal in the place that, that this this image are descending. This is another gallery which is below, wow. and this new gallery uh, has received the name uh, of uh, Weisman Krieger Gallery in honor of our donors, uh, Stuart Weisman and and Barbara Krieger. That's a good. Thing. <laughs> yeah, we got okay. <laughs> We have another place to live, Barbara, if we have to. Yeah. <laughs> we may have to. 